Have you tried expansion with clear aligners? <laughs> I'm not talking about real expansion where we open the suture. No, something we do with fixed appliances like Hyrax or Haas. I mean, arch development. I think this term is more appropriate. Now, are you satisfied with what you're seeing? Does it ever happen to you that your patient is at the last aligner and all your posterior teeth are tipped buckly? Ever wondered why? This is exactly what we will talk about in this video. And stick to the end where I give you a very important trick on how to prevent this buckle tipping of the posterior teeth. Hi, my name is Stefan Reinhardt. I'm the director of the education program for the Clear Institute, where we teach dentists how to understand the principles and mechanics of clear aligners. If you like these videos, click on the like button, click the bell to get notified. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You have a posterior open bite on both sides and this one for sure is not because of intrusion of the posterior teeth and it's not because of anterior interferences. You know, you checked, even if it is most of the time. Even worse, sometimes you will have all the buccal cuffs tit buccally and the palatal cusps in contact with the lower teeth. No. Not a good day at the office. We don't want to see that, but we look at it and we wonder why, why, why? By the way, there's a solution to that. And we explain that in our how to use elastics course. You look at your clinch check and this is not what you're seeing. There was no tipping planned. So how come these teeth tipped? Well, it all goes back to mechanics and a lot of time it does. First thing, we forget a lot of times that the teeth are not looking at the clean check. Look at the clean check. This is where you're going. This is where you're supposed to go. <laughs> they have no idea where to go. They are guided by one thing only. Force. They will answer to the principles of mechanics, but not the clean check or any other virtual setup. And this is often where we get confused because what is a clean check in reality? Well, we see it as how the teeth will move and we look at the cartoon and we're all excited, but, but that is not the case. And this is where it is confusing and a lot of time counterintuitive. Ask me how I know. A clean check is a force system. It is how the force will be applied on the teeth. It represents the shape of all the aligners we will receive. Every stage is an appliance. And look back at, at the clean check where you plan expansion. And I guarantee that the teeth are moving by translation. What is a translation? It's where all the points of an object moved in the same direction at the same time. And I'll tell you a secret here. Come here, I'll tell you a secret. And, and, and you can repeat it, you can repeat it. Translation, movements, I mean, I mean, pure translation are impossible in orthodontics. If you can do it, please publish. If you understand mechanics, you know why. If you don't understand mechanics, you need to. If you want to understand how to use clear aligners, treat patients with these appliances and incorporate tooth movement in your everyday dentistry, and you should as soon as possible, you must understand physics and mechanics principle of tooth movement. To create translation, you need to apply a force directly in line with the center of resistance. Every object has a center of resistance. The center of resistance of teeth is located somewhere in the root and we have no access to it. I mean, if you do, it's not good news. We can never apply a force directly in line with it. That means that every time we apply a force on a tooth, on the clinical crown of the tooth, we're creating a moment, a moment of force, and that is a tendency to rotate. Rotation. When you push on the premolars and the molars to expand the arch, they will want to tip buckly. It is a normal reaction to the force we're applying, but in the clean check, you will not see that. So this is where you have to be a dentist and see it in your head. Oh yes, I can see it in my head. And the more you will expand, 
the more you will have this secondary effect. And depending on the initial position of the teeth, maybe this is something you want and you wish for. Perfect! Those are the cases where it went well. But if you start with a good angulation of the teeth, a good curve of Wilson, and you don't plan any over-engineering to counteract the side effect, you might be in trouble. So how can we prevent that? First, make sure you add big rectangular horizontal attachments on the buckle of the teeth you want to expand. The attachments should be as thick as possible. Thickness is very important because this is what will bring the resistance. You can add a small gingival bevel to help Keep the tooth into tracking. And finally, finally, the final tip I told you when we started this video, adding five degrees of buckle root torque for every millimeter of expansion will help you finish with the desired position. But this means that your teeth will look tipped lingually in your clench check. I'm telling you, it's counterintuitive you will want to see the final stage of your clinch act with a perfect position and perfect occlusion. That will be the time to watch this video again. And remember yourself that a clinch act is a force system. It is not how the teeth will move and not how they will be positioned at the end. I hope this helps. I'm Stefan Reinhardt, director of the education program for the Clear Institute. Have fun making the move and using expansion successfully in your future clear aligner cases. If you want to learn more about mechanics and clear aligners, doesn't matter if you're a novice provider, a new provider, a confident provider, we got you covered. Take a look at our website, our courses, our programs, and our private online coaching options. And don't miss our monthly Q&A session right here, live on YouTube. And if you like reading, take a look at our blog posts.